Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, and this is a part two of API automation with Java and REST Assured. In this section, we'll be discussing very commonly asked questions or like question that comes to our mind when we start you know, working or learning API automation or especially APIs. So I'll be covering some of the parts actually here. Okay, to touch base on what is you know, SOAP, what is REST what are the difference basic differences between soap and rest why is that popular nowadays and what are the documents like now you need to know that developer will be providing you okay and so that you can work with the same for rest or soap okay whom whichever you are working with and the type of operation that this rest supports and the things that we are going to discuss in the next uh, video tutorial as well that is we'll be reading all the CRUD operations basically type operations okay through automation basically okay one by one so let's quickly start it so what is SOAP SOAP stands for simple object access protocol it's XML based protocol basically protocol means suppose you were sending some request right last video we had seen that you are sending some uh, searching some details on the web right that is called request okay and you are getting some response based out of your request that is a response okay whatever you are receiving so this communication between different application different systems has to be occurred with following some by following some protocol that is a set of rules defined okay so that is so simple object access protocol okay it defines many standards that must be followed while you are developing as a developer for soap application right you cannot uh, have, like you cannot you know go in a different direction okay defined from soap it is very much kind of rigid you can say that soap uses a wsdl file web service dynamic just web service descriptive languages okay wsdl stands for okay now it developer provides you this wsdl file okay and you need to work with the same while working with api for soap api services right and it is one more thing it's much more secure because it defines your defines its own you no know, uh, standards basically that's how it is so on the other hand uh, arrest is like it stands for representational state transfer okay REST. So it is basically an architecture style, not a protocol. Just to uh, make sure, and it it also supports all the not all at least at least majorly supported you no know, format, okay data format like XML, JSON, HTML like this, okay and it is very much lightweight and fast. That's the reason it's fast and it is stateless. It doesn't store the states okay and it is also like it it can use soap as well because it can take any of the things to get it transformed as it is defined from soap right soap cannot do the same okay now what is soap and what is rest we understood a bit right now two different type of web services correct and let's quickly see what is the basic root difference between SOAP and REST. SOAP is basically a protocol as we discuss. REST is an architecture or architectural style. SOAP can't REST use REST because it's a protocol. REST can use SOAP that I was mentioning in the last uh, slide, right? SOAP web services because uh, it's a concept, okay? And can use any protocol. REST can use SOAP basically. It can use any protocol, HTTP, SOAP, like this, HTML like this right soap uses services interface to expose the business logic but for rest it is not the case it uses uri on, on the other hand right now soap defines standards very strictly that's what i mentioned developer cannot deviate from there right soap defines its own security that's why it is own much secure compared to rest on the other hand rest is a bit lilliant and it follows you no know, underlying transport whatever it is using right so permit xml um, rest is xml is html json like this right why is this star getting uh, preference nowadays or war why it is much more popular because it's easy to implement it, it's easy to automate okay it's easy to you know 
like is very lightweight so that's why it is very fast it is stateless so basically it doesn't keep or no uh, stages keep the call no independent basically so that it call can contains its own set of data to perform the same sort of operations and it's basically you know having the client server uh, the constant operates on concept that client server has to be separated okay from each other to evolve individually so it's very much lightweight okay and it's also you know permits multiple uh, format let's say you are expert on xml you are working on x with rest and xml somebody is in json he is working in json so like this right so there are pretty much more advantages compared to rest but if you are looking for very much secured you no know, well defined and well composed not well composed i cannot say to well composed but even secure uh, you know web service development part and rest might be a better option but nowadays most of the project or products or companies are moving towards rest actually okay now api documents when you need to as a let's say you are automation guy right you are automating some apis right so your developer should be giving you some details some information in sort of some document right so soap in case of soap uh, web services right it uses the wsdl as i was mentioning web service description language okay it provides you developer will provide you the same where all the information will be there and in case of rest there is nothing like wsdl so what developer will provide it's called api document containing the information about the api what the api does what is the name description version what is going to what are the payload format what is payload payload means let's say what is the request body you are sending what type of data if you wish to send in the payload form of payload basically data i'm talking about while you were sending some request right you were sending some request right i need xyz so that is a kind of data so that's what it refers to as payload in a, in a very generic form we'll see much more about payloads and all while we develop the things okay and the response whatever response i shall get what is the format so like this the documents will be developer will be writing some document okay and will hand it over to you for further automation or testing right so and what are the operations is that is supported by rest so there are majority four different type of or categories of operation that are supported by rest apis or rest web services that is crud create edit update delete so create is equivalent to index it is called as post read means you are reading the data okay you are just fetching the data you are not writing anything to the server or you are not writing to the anything to the applications that time you are reading the data it is called get api okay what does post mean let's say you are a new user okay you want to register in some application so you are posting your details okay while registering with let's say facebook okay first time you are joining the, the facebook you are writing the data to the facebook giving the personal information mobile number email id so you are writing some data basically to the server facebook application so you are creating you are posting some details right you, and whenever you are trying to get some information okay it's not like simply trying to access your account in facebook and trying to fetch some details of yours that is get api okay post api means we are creating or providing some details okay get means reading out fetching some details nothing else right update suppose you have an account in your facebook right your name is xyz okay now you want to change it to xy after marriage yes after marriage you are a lady and let's say after marriage your name gets changed or your you, you wish you are a lady or your uh, like no uh, boy that you wish not to provide the last name or surname of yours so from xyz you are creating or changing your name to abc so that's data is already there information is already there you are just updating it on top of it right that's how it is and delete delete means your account is there with facebook okay you want it to be deleted from facebook all time right so you are deleting the information so that is delete api okay so that's all guys basically from this section of discussion okay if you do have any suggestions comments questions you can put them in the comment box i'll be happy to help thank you and have a nice day